Comedian Jamie Lisso. If hilarity were onions, I'd cry while slicing him to pieces. Nice backdrop of Rochester. Jamie, Al-Qaeda wants the GOP humiliated so we can safely say that they would prefer Obama in. I think you're absolutely right. Al-Qaeda, absolutely, they, they plan to humiliate Bush uh, with a clever plan called letting him speak. <laughs> Jamie, as a comedian, if Obama's elected, will you be able to make fun of him without being called a racist? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't think he can. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, and by the way, I want to make it very clear. I, I am not a racist. Yes. Uh, some of my best friends on MySpace are black. <laughs> um, not necessarily in the top ten, yeah. but uh, some of my best friends. And Greg, I th Greg, I think it's important. I think you got to be weary of these well-traveled emails. I think you got to be careful of those. I got, I got one the other day. It was Hillary Clinton's head, and then it was like a horse body. Really? really? Which I find, I just find the whole thing hard to believe. <laughs> so they had problems with strippers voting last year right. because what they would do is they would grab guys by the hand and take them into the booth with them. <laughs> Jamie, Greg asked you why so many prosties are Democrats. I would say, what do you expect from people who take your money and screw you? <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, Ed. I was trying on my Halloween costume. Oh, okay. Who is that? Sorry my about that. God. What was that? <laughs> oh, my God. Greg, it was my Greg Gutfield Halloween ah, costume. Wow. Well, get, get that away. I've never seen him wear a hat before. Good that is God. really odd. That I'm was... sorry, Andy. What was your question? I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't look, I am mesmerized. I'm done. Wow. I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm, I apologize, that's the last one. <laughs> oh my gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> Comedian Jamie Lisso, starting November 17th, you can hear him every morning on the Brother Weez show on 95.1 The Fox in Rochester, New York. Hey, Jamie, you're married, and you and your mm -hmm. wife recently had a darling baby. Are you excited that this is what you have to look forward to? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, but I guess it's really weird. I guess I've been married for five years, and I, honest to God, I'm not even kidding. I have not felt that slump that this guy talks about. Yeah. But I will tell you one thing I find kind of interesting. Yeah. Exactly two years, six months, and 25 days ago was my first time on Red Eye, and I'm starting to feel a little bit of distance. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought we agreed to see other people. We wanted to, op we wanted to open okay. this thing up, you know? It makes us it's love each other more. You know, we held hands at first, and now I'm alone in a room in Rochester. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Don't you, don't you sort of feel like this maybe wasn't even a study? It was just one guy's thing that happened to him? <laughs> like, he's like, in exactly two years, six months, and 25 days, your wife will become a lesbian and marry your sister, Penny. <laughs> Jamie, who is this adorable little creature? Oh, Andy, that is my uh, that is my son, Charlie Lisso. Did I just? And uh, you know, I just want to say really quickly, man, uh, it's a good thing babies are cute, you know, because <laughs> if babies were born with the faces that they had as adults and just started pooping and crying, you wouldn't even take care of them. <laughs>